Hello everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, it's Monday morning, New York, uh, around 11, 10.30, I don't know, I just woke up. Uh, it's freezing cold outside, it's freezing cold in here, and I've been blessed with the a migraine headache on this side of my head when I wake up usually with the high frequency and the nausea it's my belief and hey I could be wrong <laughs> but it's my belief that these some of these headaches and nausea and uh, stuff is caused by the whatever the beaming electromagnetic scalar microwave you know remote neural whatever you want to call it that thing they zap us with night and day uh, it's something they usually do to me uh, on certain dates I can't figure it out a couple times a month I used to think it was food poisoning because you get this extreme headache and then vomiting violently for a long time and then after a while you feel better you know it takes about a day and a half two days sometimes longer I don't know um, I have uh, I have to get my stuff out of the storage locker because I, I don't know I don't think we can afford to pay for it again another month um, I, I, I really don't know what to do, honestly. Um, you know, I'm, I'm barely, barely holding on. Um, you know, we're here in this room still. Uh, they're not banging on the door every day yet, but... You know, the first is coming up. I don't know what's going to happen with these people. Maybe God will soften their hearts and help. Let us stay here a little longer until we find something else. Um, they, they really did a number on us here. And, and uh, you know, I still have to go to court for this assault charge. Just this woman who we rented the room from who claims I beat her up um, I did not touch her, I didn't hurt her, I didn't do anything to her I didn't even express my displeasure with her you know, I, I, I said excuse me <laughs> to get by and she claims I beat her up so you know I have to deal with that, I don't know what's gonna happen um, We have heat now. Heat just went on. Thank the Lord. No, oh, it went off again, but, you know, thank God. You know, I read some of your stories out there, and it breaks my heart. I, you know, it's like I'm sitting here talking about how crappy my life is and how broken my body and mind are, and, and you know, there's people out there that are worse off than me. You know, people with very little, people with nothing, people that are homeless in the freaking cold. I don't even know how you do that. I don't even know how you do that. Um, it's, it's... <laughs> it just breaks my heart. You know, I mean, I don't know what am I supposed to do, how am I supposed to help, you know, how, how can I make it better for these people, I can't barely even make it better for myself, you know, I, I, 
look at my life, and I look at myself, and I look around, and I, and I see all the blessings that I have, despite all this, you know, and a lot of times when I'm feeling bad, I just go through the list in my head, and I thank my creator for everything, you know, one thing at a time, everything I can think of until it, until either I forget what I'm doing, which happens a lot, or until I feel a little better, and you know, uh, one of the things that I realized speaking with some people over the weekend and my stuff is that one of the things these watchers as I call them excuse me like to do is run you into a frenzy you know either with the voice to skull going blah 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 your worst fears and you know making it difficult for you to exist and move forward or where they're zapping your body and your mind and causing you pain and and slowly murdering you. Or whether you're, you know, whatever phase of this thing you're in. I forgot what I was trying to say. It's another thing, the short-term, long-term memory thing, brain zaps. The, uh, we were exposed to this Mark Allen's chemtrail stuff real seriously. They, they blew it into our room daily for quite a while before we even figured out anything was happening. Uh, there was not much we were able to do about it, trust me. Uh, so it's taken a toll on our health. And, uh, like I said, I looked at my blood and there's all these burst blood cells and broken hemoglobin and black sludge and, and geometrically shaped prismatic objects. And it's, it's, it's like a kaleidoscope, you know? And this stuff is circulating through my body. Every cell, every organ, every... <laughs> I have to laugh as I watch myself deteriorate and die because otherwise I cry, it's just too much, you know? Um, I guess we have to help each other somehow because the government's not helping us and the system's not helping us. I don't know, I'm, I'm weak and, you know, I can barely, like, go and get my own stuff. But if there's some way I can help, I try to help. You know, I make these videos, they used to be more about, well, about what happened and also my thoughts about how it works and how to deal with it and you know but I guess I don't know I just wish I could do more more for myself and more for all of you you know I, I just it's so hard you know I wish I could make it easier anyway thanks for watching Keep warm, be safe, God bless you all.